Welcome to PowerPoint Practice 4. To begin, start PowerPoint and notice how it opens in Backstage View. Under Open, browse to locate your PowerPoint Practice 3 and select Open. Select File, Save As, Browse, and then navigate to your PowerPoint folder on your flash drive or other location where you save your files. Name the presentation as your last name, underscore your first name, underscore PowerPoint, underscore practice, underscore four. There should be eight slides in your slide deck. Ensure your presentation is in normal view and select slide eight. Compare your screen to the example. Open a new browser window and navigate to the PVCC homepage. With slide eight still active, go to the insert tab, images group, screenshot, and select Screen Clipping. Take a screen clip from the top portion of the PVCC homepage and insert it into slide 8. Your screen clip may vary from the images in this example since the homepage changes frequently. The screen clip should be under the Puma Commitment logo and above the text box that contains the text, It is great to be a Puma. With the screenshot image still selected, Resize it so that it has an approximate height of 1.6 inches and an approximate width of 7.5 inches. If necessary, move the Puma Commitment image up and the text boxes down to create enough space for the screenshot image. Select the screen clip image you just added. On the Animations tab, in the Animations group, add the Fade animation to the screenshot image. On slide 8, in the Notes pane, Add the following note after the note that is already there. Type your name in lieu of mine. Select slide 5 on the Home tab in the Slide grouping. Add a new slide with the title and content layout. In the Title placeholder, type PVCC Fine Arts. In the Content placeholder below the title, click the icon to insert a video. Using your web browser, navigate to YouTube. In the search window, type Let It Be Summer 2020. Locate the PVCC Fine Arts video Let It Be Summer 2020. Select the Share icon and then select Embed. Copy the embed code. Paste the code you copied from YouTube and then press Enter. It may take a few moments for the video to preview. If necessary, right-click on the video and then select Preview. With the video selected on the Video Tools Format tab, Resize the video so that it has a height of approximately 5 inches and a width of approximately 9.4 inches. Move the video so that it is centered on the slide if necessary. On the Playback tab, select Play to watch the video. Compare your screen to the example. Select Slide 9 so that it is the active slide. On the Insert tab, Media Group, select the arrow under Audio and select Record Audio. Record a short audio clip, about 20 seconds, and tell me why PVCC is your college of choice. After recording your audio and playing it back, name it PVCC. Then close the Record Sound Audio dialog box. Notice a speaker icon displays on slide 9. Move this icon to the upper left-hand corner of slide 9. Click the speaker once to play the audio. On slide 9, in the Notes pane, add the following note. Select slide 1 so that it is the active slide. On the Design tab, Customize Group, select Format Background. Under Fill, select the button next to Picture of Texture Fill. Under Insert Picture from File, select the File button and browse to where your data files are stored. Locate the image, PowerPoint Practice 4, Step 18, and select Insert. Be sure to not select Apply to All as we only want the background image applied to the title slide. Close the Format dialog box by clicking the X in the upper right-hand corner. On slide 1, delete the text box that says Ball New Student Orientation. If necessary, move the text box that says Welcome Pumas up slightly and change the font color to a font that is easier to see with the new background image. Compare your slide to the example. Select slide 4 so that it is the active slide. Select and delete the explosion image on slide 4. In that spot, we are going to add a clustered column chart that displays the average GPA for each athletic team. On the Insert tab, in the Illustrations group, select Chart. In the Insert Chart dialog box, select Column and then Clustered Column, then select OK. A dialog box should appear to chart in Microsoft PowerPoint. 
It looks like a mini Excel spreadsheet. Enter the following data, deleting any unused columns or rows. Notice how the clustered column chart updates the data automatically as you type in the data. Close the Chart in Microsoft PowerPoint dialog box when all of the data has been entered. With the clustered column chart selected on the Chart Tools Design tab, select the Add Chart Element, Legend, and then Write. This will move the legend from the bottom of the chart to the right side. If necessary, resize the legend so that all of the sports are visible. Change the chart title to Average GPA by Team. Select the vertical axis on the left side that contains the numbers and right-click and select Format Axis. The Format Axis dialog box under the Axis Options bounds to 3.0 for the minimum and 4.0 for the maximum. Close the Format Axis dialog box. With the clustered column chart selected on the Chart Tools Design tab in the Chart Styles group, select the Quick Style Style 8. Use the Smart Guides to resize and move the clustered column chart so that it fits neatly to the right of the bulleted list on slide 4. Compare your slide to the example. Select slide 5 so that it is the active slide. Select and delete the Health Sciences logo on slide 5. On the Insert tab in the Illustrations group, select Chart, select Line, and then insert a line with Markers Chart. Select OK to close the Insert Chart dialog box. In the Chart with Microsoft PowerPoint dialog box, enter the following data. Delete any unused rows or columns. After the data is entered, close the Chart in Microsoft PowerPoint dialog box. Resize and move the chart so that it fits in the lower right-hand corner of slide 5. With the line chart selected, on the Chart Tools Design tab in the Chart Layout options, Add Chart Element, remove the chart title, and ensure the legend is in the top position. With the line chart selected, on the Chart Tools Design tab in the Chart Styles group, select Style 9 Quick Style. Double-click the Vertical Value Access to open the Format Access dialog box. Under Access Options, Bounce, enter 200 for the minimum and 800 for the maximum. Close the Format Access dialog box. On slide 5 in the Notes pane, add the following speaker note. Compare your slide to the example. Select slide 2 so that it is the active slide. Select the image on the Picture Tools Format tab in the Adjust group, select Remove Background. Select the area that you would like to keep and then select Keep Changes. Change the view of your presentation to Slideshow. Use the arrows to advance each slide. Compare your presentation to the example and make any modifications if needed. Save your presentation and take note of where it is located. There should be a total of nine slides in your slide deck. Close out of PowerPoint and submit your entire presentation per your instructor's instructions. I hope this video has helped you to complete this project. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to your instructor. They're here to help.